So each day from two till five, we've been going into a Zoom call with Newfoundland. And then we warm up together and we sing some songs together. Um, and then we've been setting, devising exercises. We've been to like three moments and had some transitions between those moments. Sometimes we work with teams in the UK and the teams in Newfoundland separately. We go offline, develop something, and then we come back and share it. It's actually been surprisingly effective. We were a bit worried about whether we'd feel really distanced from them, but it's, yeah, it's been, it's been quite exciting. We started this process with ourselves by asking the question, who are we? Where did we come from? And we found that most Newfoundlanders came from the Dorset region, so I began to search and see what theatre companies were working out of there, and I came across some amazing work by Angel Exit Theatre. So we decided to go over and visit them and explore the story, explore who we were, what we were, the music, why they left England and come to Newfoundland. And since then, it's been a wonderful process as we explore that story to find out why we are here. The images on the wall um, are from a kind of section of history between Poole and Newfoundland. We were kind of looking at what life was like for the new settlers in this new place. It was a world that was quite exposed. You were kind of up against the elements, sort of the weather, the sea, the relationship between people and the sea. Thinking about what kind of objects and materials people were interacting with on a daily basis. We've got the different types of rope which are like super kind of fibrous and quite heavy. The lanterns, like the hurricane lamps and the kind of version of the kerosene lamps. Oh, we've got the fish, we've got the fake fish. <laughs> Some of this stuff can be quite straight-faced and I think there is a kind of funny side to it as well. I think within the tales of Newfoundland and these pioneering Migrant, migrant workers that would move over to Newfoundland. It's the kind of spirit of adventure, but also within it, I'm thinking about how we can weave in modern narratives and kind of contemporary issues about economic migrants. And in terms of Angel Exit's style of theatre, we don't tell just sort of straightforward linear narratives. Bringing the surreal, bringing the fantastical and a sense of sort of magic realism and wonder. So look out for talking fish. It's great that Angel Exit are here this week at Lighthouse developing a new project that we've been talking about for a long time, about the connectivity between Pool and Newfoundland. And it's been fascinating to hear about the trade agreement between the two towns and two countries. To have during this weird year an opportunity to bring artists back into the building and to start developing new projects, new shows, new stories, has been um, absolutely thrilling for us as an organisation and also fabulous to see artists back in the building. It's an important story for the town and we've never ever done um, a piece of social history like this before and so we're really thrilled that um, this is the company that can do that for us.